Good morning and welcome to Inside South Florida. I'm your host, Nick Robinson. I hope you're having a great weekend so far. We have a fantastic show for you today, one that is so close to my heart. First, we're talking about foster kids. You know, a lot of people don't understand their needs, and there's an organization out there that's very creative in how they're introducing those kids to all of South Florida. Then it's all about going green. You know, you don't have to give up luxury to do it. In fact, there is an amazing house going up in South Beach that you need to see, and we're showing to you. So don't go anywhere. So too often the needs of foster kids in South Florida go unmet. I think a lot of times it has to do with potential parents not really understanding those kids' needs or the system, but there's this amazing charity out there that's doing some great work to help get those kids known and understood. I'm talking about the Heart Gallery, and I want you to meet Barbara Schechter, the Executive Director. Barbara, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you. So let's paint the picture for everybody. How, how great is the need for foster parents in South Florida? Uh, the need for both foster and adoptive parents mm -hmm. is great. There are, um, at this moment, there are about 80 children in the Heart Gallery that are looking for adoptive homes. So that means that they, their parents' rights have been terminated and they are in the foster care system until they are adopted or until they're aged out. Um, and the same thing with foster parents. There's never enough foster parents, particularly for the children that are harder to place. And why is it so difficult to find parents to foster and adopt children? Um, I think the, the biggest reason is simply misperception. Um, most people don't know a lot about the foster care system. They don't know how children got into foster care, and they don't know a lot about how the system works. And if they did, they would find it a little less frightening, perhaps, maybe that's not the right word, but um, children are, many people think that children are removed from homes because of something the child did. In other words, they're a juvenile delinquent or they're misbehaved, and that's absolutely not the case. Um, children are removed from the homes because of abuse, neglect, or abandonment on the part of their parents, so they're really victims. Um, Many uh, adoptive parents are concerned that uh, if they adopt a child, the parents will come back and try and reclaim them, which again is absolutely not true. Um, once a parent's rights have been terminated, that's, that's it. it. Yeah. So, um, you know, those are the things that we find are holding people back. And if they only knew, you know, how much these children really wanted families and they wanted loving homes, um, it would be easier for them to consider it. And, you know, we were talking a little bit before you compared, you know, meeting a lot of these kids is kind of like your own teenager. I mean, right. they're, these are just kids who, just like every other child, need yeah. love and attention and affection and parenting. Well, I meet most of these children, mm -hmm. and I have a teenager myself. And um, before I started doing this job, I didn't know any children in the foster care system, and I guess I figured they would be different somehow. But most of them aren't. Um, they're just like, talking to them is just like talking to my own child. So explain to me what the Heart Gallery is. Okay, the Heart Gallery is a traveling exhibit and website of photos of foster children who are available for adoption. Uh, the photos are taken by professional photographers who donate their time. And they travel in a gallery along with a bio card that explains um, the child's personality and a little bit about them. And they replace the photos that are taken when a child first comes into care, where they stand against the wall and they get their photo taken with a camera phone. Right. So it enables people to connect with these children in a more emotional way, to see them as the loving children that they really are, um, and to get some more information. Uh, the exhibit also contains um, panels that give information about other ways that people can help, such as uh, mentoring, guardian ad litem, or volunteering, that sort of thing. So we just try and raise awareness about foster care in general and, and help connect people to these children. What's the experience for, like for the kids who get the, this photography? I mean, they get a, the, the chance to be the star of their own professional session. Uh, many of them feel that way, particularly the younger children. Mm -hmm. it's, it's fun, and we try to make it fun. When, particularly with the little kids, we'll go to a playground and have a good time, and there's lunch and stuff. Um, for the older children, it's harder. Um, it's hard to convince an older child to put themselves out there, to have their picture taken and have literally over a million people see it every year. Right. Um, many of them are embarrassed that they're in foster care. Um, so my heart breaks for them because these are children who um, want a family so bad that they're willing to take that chance. And there's nothing sadder than seeing some of these children come back three and four times. Right. And really the only reason that they're still in the heart gallery is because they're older and people just 
are afraid that an older child will be more difficult. Is It is statistically uh, less likely for older children to get adopted and fostered, is that right? Yeah, much less, like three times harder. Now, you guys just had your 100th and your 101st first adoption. Yeah, yeah. Talk to me a little bit about that. It was uh, very exciting. I saw some of the pictures. It's a milestone, yeah. yeah. Um, actually, it was uh, in April, it was our fifth anniversary of the Hart Gallery, and in um, June, it was the 100th and 100, it was two brothers. Um, they were uh, teens. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they were 14 and 16 years old. Uh, this was the second adoption from this family, this wow. family of teens. This family had adopted two teen girls in three years ago, and they were so pleased they wanted to adopt again. They had not been parents before. Um, they were of the age that they could be the biological parents of these children. So these are people who have um, four teenagers each one year apart. Wow. Um, uh, Good for them. And they <laughs> couldn't love those children anymore than wow. if they were their biological children. So it's a wonderful story. But yes, they saw the picture of the boys on the Hark Hour. Mm -hmm and um, called ChildNet to inquire about the boys and then met them at a, um, a matching event where children come and prospective families come and they can meet each other in a um, little bit more of a relaxed atmosphere. And talk to me a little bit about that, about those types of events. I mean, so somebody, I mean, in walking through the system, if somebody's even a little bit interested in learning just more about the mm -hmm. foster care system, they can look at the Heart Gallery, see the kids that are, that are there, and, and learn more about them, but then the next step? Well, it's a process. Mm -hmm. The two big parts of the process are MAP classes. So MAP stands for Model Approaches to Partnerships and Parenting. It's 30 hours of classes that... Um, teach you, they, they prepare families to learn more about the foster care system, to understand what children may have gone through, and what they can do to help them through that. And that uh, those same classes apply for either foster or adoptive parents. Uh, and then the next big thing is your home study, mm -hmm. where uh, they, they physically review your home, you show them where the child would live, uh, and then they interview everyone in the home, the parents, children, whatever, just to make sure um, to, to, to figure out what kind of child would be a good fit with that family and, and to understand your motivation for wanting to foster or, or adopt. And then once you've gone through that process, then you can um, foster, which you do through an agency. You do mm -hmm. that through like one of the agencies like I just kids mentioned. Kids in Distress. Or, or you can adopt, in which case you work with ChildNet and they try and match you with a child that they think would be a good fit with your family. Um, and if you want to um, help, but let's say you don't have the whatever, the resources, the time, whatever, the, the, the will to right. want to foster or adopt, what else can you do? Oh, we say that everybody can do something to help a foster child. Um, you could be a mentor. You could be a guardian ad litem. You can just volunteer your time. Um, the Heart Gallery website has a volunteer guide. Um, because we don't directly supervise the children, we work with the agencies that do. We have the agencies prepare, each one prepares a page that lists or describes all of the things that somebody could do if they want to volunteer with that wow. agency. And there's a little button on our home site that says volunteer. Um, but uh, a mentor is somebody who spends um, maybe 10 hours a week or so getting together with the child and kind of being kind of a friend or a parent kind of figure. Sure. Um, guardians ad litem are people who represent um, the children in the court system. Right. They do not have to be lawyers. They are just objective spokespeople for what they think is um, the be in the best interest of the child. Um, and then there's volunteer opportunities for people who don't necessarily have a lot of time to commit, but they can go to an agency and they can help out with an event, or wow. or they can tutor, or you know, use a skill that they have. Wow, such an important thing to do. I mean, you know, we're wonderful. talking about the kids in our own community. Right, right. Well, I thank you so much for being here. I know that the tour moves all around South Florida. Mm -hmm. um, in July, it'll be at the Bank of America in downtown Fort Lauderdale, right. um, and uh, we will follow it from there. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you. So amazing, right? You know, if you want more information on how you can help, all you have to do is go to heartgalleryofbroward.org. We have to take a break, but when we come back, it is a greenhouse that might just make you green with envy.